Hello everyone, Nathan here as always. Today we are looking at one of my builds on the Pixel Shadows survival server. Now Pixel Shadow is a server brought to us by Category 5 Technology TV, I believe is their name. This is actually the spawn place here, spawn location. And I have built fully automated flour mill just a little across the way. So as you join the game, you will see this lovely little windmill here, which is actually a lovely, lovely flour mill on the inside. Now, it only operates during daytime hours. You will notice the doors are closed. They are steel doors, so they are locked. Of course, I can open them because I placed them. But uh, right at the moment, we shan't because we're going to take a quick look at the wheat field first. Um, being as that this is a flour mill, it seems only fitting to have a wheat field surrounding it. Now some of this wheat field is actually protected, but as we go out we will notice some of this is not protected. So this is available to publicly farm. Uh, I will be expanding this out so it surrounds the whole place. Just have not had time to do that yet. Uh, the only thing that I do ask if you do do any farming from here is that you uh, are kind and replant seeds so that we have wheat continuing to exist. You will notice the doors have now opened. Uh, that is attributed, not attributed, that is achieved by using these Mesicon solar panels which send a signal to the doors so when it is light out the doors automatically open. When it's dark they close. Don't worry if you're inside and the doors close on you. We have these pressure plates here that'll open the doors as well. So if you are on the inside and you want to leave you just step on those pressure plates and the doors will open for you if it's nighttime. You do have a little flower or a bread shop here in the corner. One dollar will get you ten loaves of bread. Now, of course, you're seeing my interface here because, again, I placed it. You would not see that kind of a screen. Then we have some little signs here telling us what to do. So it tells us here, pay with wheat. Place seeds in other chests first. Other chest being this one right here. If you place wheat first, you'll lose the weeds. You need the same amount of wheat as you have seeds. Here we tells uh, tells us we'll get one bread for every wheat seed in the chest over here. This one tells us to take your cooked bread and thank you for using your service. And then this one tells you to check out the loft or behind the scenes to look. So let's let's try this out. Okay, I have 13 wheat seeds, so I'm going to need to place 13 pieces of wheat. So I'll go ahead and put 13 pieces of wheat into this chest as my payment. Now this is going to operate with a little system set up in here. You can't really see too much of it from this window, but we have a blinky plant there and a item-wise filter injector, which is pulling wheat out, and then it pulls the seeds, and then the seeds turn to bread. Now this is actually not 100% really cooking those seeds you're putting in. You're actually getting out different ones than the ones you're placing in. You can kind of see the machinery from up top here. Notice there's a, a labyrinth of pipes and injectors and detectors and wires but you know what seeing as how i'm a service personnel let's take a behind the scenes look we'll go right through here where it says service persons only please keep your hands to yourself and do not touch any of the devices we are not liable if you are injured wounded or died while on this tour all right so i just had to get that disclaimer out of the way my legal department told me i had to do it so here we have our first chest that's where we put our wheat the blinky plant here, every time it blinks, sends a signal and pulls one piece of wheat through. As the wheat flows through, it sends a signal to this Mesocon wire, which signals this itemized filter injector, which sends one wheat seed. When a wheat seed travels through this detecting pneumatic segment, it sends a signal to this injector, which should be preferring the bread type, but uh, isn't. Whoops. And every time it gets a signal, it is sending a loaf of bread up in there. So we put 13 seeds in here. Our seeds are now all gone. And 13 bread are available for us to take. Now, the way I stay in business doing this, because obviously this all cost me. I had to build everything here. The wheat that you use to pay goes into this auto crafter. Once I get four pieces of wheat, I get one flour. That flour runs through this pipework system right into the furnace here furnace ejects it out into this chest here. 
for every four loaves of bread that somebody takes through and cooks, I gain one loaf of bread in my machine. This is how I can sell bread at low prices because I am basically making bread as my money. Now, for a further behind the scenes look, we will run upstairs. Now, this is also a sort of off limits, but not really, other than the fact it's behind a locked door. We have this nice little passageway here, and it just tells us watch your step, and the door at the end is locked. And yes, the door at the end is locked. But if you want to walk around up here, you are more than welcome to. We have designed this to be child safe, so it is impossible to jump over and fall and potentially break a leg or die. We climb up the ladder here. Careful on the ladder, please, because you could hurt yourself. And we will get up into the, the roof space. Now, we actually have a solar panel. I know, it's very deceptive. It's a windmill, but we're running off of solar power. It's a little more green this way than actually harnessing the wind's energy. So we have a solar panel here. And some wire running through our switching station right here. And a battery. The battery is fully upgraded. So the sun powers the battery and the battery runs. Now there is a small balcony here we can step out onto. Be extremely careful in this corner as it is possible to walk through and fall and probably fall to your death. But it's a nice little way to look out around the area, see the neighboring houses, watch your step as we jump over this wire here. You can see down on the field below, see this guy's farm field over here which looks like he really needs to go harvest his wheat and cotton. but. That is his business. The only way to exit is to go back down the stairway here. So we shall do that now. Now the beautiful part, the most beautiful part about this system is actually the part we have not looked at. And we really can't look at it at all. But say we for some reason have no power. And unfortunately I don't have any wheat seeds. Let me see if some of this is harvestable. Here we go, let's just grab a few. Because I want to demonstrate how the system works without electricity. And that's why this is so nice. Because instead of having to wait for your bread to actually be cooked, and your flour to be ground, and everything to actually happen in real time, you're getting different bread than the seeds you're putting in. So as much as we claim it's fresh bread, that's kind of a lie. Because it's not. Um, and I'm actually going to have to run back upstairs here. Give me one moment. <laughs> and we are going to knock out the switching station. This has now put the system offline. And by that I mean none of the machines will work because they will not have any electricity flowing to them. We will notice this in one moment when we get back downstairs and into the, the machinery room you will notice the machines all have no network. So we will do what we did before. We will place, we have six wheat seeds, so we'll go ahead and place those in that chest. And we're just gonna go ahead and put 10 wheat in here. Now, same thing has happened before will happen again. The wheat goes through here, signals this, signals that, the seeds go there, signals this, bread comes out. Seeds have not ground yet because we don't have any power. So say, for example, somebody came and they had a whole bunch of wheat and a bunch of wheat seeds, like two or three stacks. I have one battery powering this machine, so we'd probably run out of electricity. It would be no worry to them, however, because as long as there is bread in this chest to go out, there will be bread to supply them. And then when power does come back on, or when it turns to day again and the battery charges, I really have no idea how this exists. How is there a flower in there if I didn't have power to grind the flower? That is most odd. So I should have six, yep, six wheat seeds sitting in there. All right, now I don't know if we can do this, but I'm going to try it because it's easier than running back upstairs. We are unpowered. We are active. All right, we have electricity again. Bread is cooking. Seeds are grinding. Bread is being output to the chest here because we have a switching station again. So if we run out of power, 
there's no worries because everything is really ready to go without having the electricity. And because it is now nighttime, we can demonstrate the doors. Notice how we have the doors automatically closed. We just step on, ta-da, the door is open and we can exit. Unfortunately, we can now not get back inside. We are running a special promotion for the first week as our grand opening. It is actually free to grind bread. Yes, you heard that right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Free to grind bread. And now this is how we're achieving this. Because you just saw the method that was being employed to make this actually all run. To make it run without actually costing anything, we're going to place some bones. And the only reason I'm using bones is because that's what I have handy. Um, here we go. We'll put the blinky plant right there. Mmm, you know what, though? I don't have any seeds. That is a problem. But now, the blinky plant will just grab the seeds directly, send them through, and your bread will be outputted, and you don't have to worry about paying with wheat. Of course, if you still want to place wheat in there, you're more than welcome to. And, uh, I'll actually put another blinky plant over here, and we'll keep using them. Because... As we all know, wheat doesn't have too many uses outside of turning it to flour. You can use it to make this Japanese tatami thing. You can use it to make flour, and you can use it to make straw. Which straw you can then use, I think, to make rough chunks. Yeah. So, if you feel like donating your wheat, feel more than welcome to do so. Because it'll be put to a good use, and we'll turn it into bread. Well, that is that. Hopefully you will find this service most useful to yourselves. Again, our hours are from sunup to sundown. And the doors will let you out. Trust us. Uh, I'd give you the coordinates. Ta -da! But I don't know if they're really necessary, because we are so close to spawn. Well, folks, that is that. Uh, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the server and check out my flour mill. I will put the information all in the description below so you can swing on over and take a look and grind up some bread for yourself and then eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.